All right, you got a sprained ankle. I'm gonna give you the guide of how to get back. It's a good guide and I'm putting Pat on the spot. He doesn't even know we're doing this. Look at that limp. What happened, Pat? I sprained my ankle, landed on Mero's foot. So Mero crossed you up? No, I landed on his foot. Mero crossed you up? No, I landed on his foot. Is this limp real or you're faking it? I'm faking it. You're trying to get views and sympathy? What's going on here? First thing, I wanna know what happened, what's the pain level at, who is in front of me? People ask me for advice on pain and injury all the time. It's really hard to do because what I'm gonna give him, it's definitely gonna be different than what I would give somebody that tore everything in their ankle. He's obviously right able to put weight on it right now. So I already know that's a good sign. It's not a major injury, right? He can put weight on it. How'd you do it? How's it feel out of 10 pain right now? It's, uh, six. Can you stand on it one foot? Uh, put all your weight on it. No. No, you can't? Lift your right knee off the ground. So I'm looking for grimaces, right? How much pain? Right, you can't do that? Can you try to rotate on it like this? No. No, can't at all. All right, so he can't put all his weight on one foot right now. Now just bring that knee over. I'm just gonna bring him through some basic stuff here. Right, pain there? No. Right, where is the pain, on the outside? Outside. Can you do this? No. Like, at, not at all? I'm not doing that. You can't put any weight on it. All right, so again, I'm just getting information, right? I don't need to go through a clinical diagnosis with everybody, right? I could just talk to him. Now, look, I'm walking upstairs. This is another opportunity to get information on where he's at, right? He's hobbling up the stairs. Hobbling up the stairs. All right, I've broken both my ankles. I've sprained both my ankles, and I've worked with thousands of athletes. I've worked with PTs. I've worked with all different types of people, right? Helping one, myself, and two, helping thousands of athletes. If you're a basketball player, you are gonna sprain your ankle, and I'm gonna give you some tips today that'll get you back as soon as possible. All right, so first with Pat, I'm just gonna have him sit down. I never recommend rice, right? Rest, ice, compression, what's E? I don't even remember what E is. I don't remember it because it's not important, and the guy that invented rice already said it's wrong and they invented a new acronym. Don't remember that as either, but anyway, you don't want rest ice compression, right? What you want is actually blood flow. And if you've followed us for a while, you know we talk about edge of ability and it's such an important principle of ours because it can be applied to literally everything. In skills, we wanna work at the edge of our ability. In strength, we wanna work at the edge of our ability. Even with rehabbing an ankle, what we wanna do is bring his ankle, we're gonna bring your ankle to the edge of your ability. And to find that, we're gonna go through a couple steps right here. So, big thing with coming back from an injury, you wanna do as much pain-free movement as possible possible, right? And that's what you're gonna have to figure out today is where you're at. Pat, I want you to kick that beautiful crock off real quick. All right, so this is what we're gonna do first. The modem scrotum people out there will call this a controlled articular rotation or a CAR, right? In normal people words, it's a joint rotation. You're just trying to bring your joint through the biggest rotation you can. So Pat, to get in this position, all right, you're gonna wrap your left bicep underneath your left hamstring and you're gonna grab your right bicep Good, you got it. No, you're gonna grab your right bicep with your left hand, Pat's a smart one. He's a basketball oh. player, don't judge him. Now this hand goes on here, on your tibia, good. This is the setup. And we're gonna start little rotation. So your hand is on your shin bone, right? I don't even wanna say tibia, that's a little bit too advanced for Pat. So shin bone, right? I don't want your shin rotating. I want all the motion coming from your ankle. So you're gonna start by bringing your toes to your nose, right? You're gonna come in. All right, in, 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 don't let this rotate. Now you're gonna gas pedal down, gas pedal down, and what he's doing is bringing that joint through its, the range of motion that he's capable of right now. Gas pedal down, that's where you're at. Now you're gonna scrape the bottom of it. Yeah, so, right? Yeah, so if, it, if you go into pain here, right? If you're at the point that Pat is, so he's starting to grimace, you just come out of it a little bit, right? So if you can't go there, again, it's the biggest circle that you can do without pain. So you wanna stay right near that pain, but not go all the way into it. Now you're gonna come foot off the gas pedal all the way up, right? You're gonna go in and then down. And I typically like to say, you can give a certain amount of repetitions, right? More the better. What you're gonna find out is when you wake up tomorrow, did you piss it off more or do you feel okay? And that's how you're gonna judge how much you're gonna do on a daily basis. But I'll typically go say, yeah, that's good, that's what we want. Now again, what we want, yes, we want cracking, we want movement. You are a complex adaptive system, right? You are intelligently designed. We wanna put good information into this so your muscle, so your ankle, right, is getting good feedback, right? Down, good, around, good. How's that feeling? 
So what I'm gonna tell him to do is go a minute each direction twice a day, right? And start really, really simple with a minute each direction each day. A little pain's okay. A little pain's okay. Again, tomorrow you might wake up and it might be a little bit worse. All that means is we're not as far along as we'd like to be, right? And we need to calm it down a little bit, right? Pat's the kind of guy, he'll literally run through a wall, right? So he's not like a work ethic guy. He's not somebody that I need to worry about doing his work. If I tell him to do something, he's gonna do it 10X, right? So I'm gonna give him very simple, one minute each direction, twice a day. Did you go the other direction yet? Yeah, I said go on the other So let's walk through it one more time. Toes to your nose, toes to your nose, good. Bring it in, so in to me, to me, good. I don't even want your toes moving here. Good, down. If you were at a point where you can't even move your ankle like Pat did, let's say it's a severe sprain, right? Just moving your toes is good, right? Can you move your toes? If you're there and you can't, like your circle, there is no circle, right? You just wanna bring information from your brain down into this area. So just getting your toes moving, trying to isolate maybe your big toe. How are we feeling? It's burning. It's burning? Yeah. Good, take a break, we'll come right back. All right, this is day one. He literally sprained it last night. So I'm just trying to show people what to do on day one, what we can do. Let's say you can't do anything that Pat just did. You can always find something to do. So take this off, take your sock off. Yeah. I gotta pull the dogs out. <laughs> Bring the dogs out, let them bark, baby. All right, now, right. I'm not showing my toes. You know, you know, I need to show your toes. That's what we're moving. Yeah, oh, you got a hairy big toe. All right. <laughs> you got a, look at that thing. All right, so now, again, we're just gonna get his toes moving. Let, let's say you can't put any pressure on it, you can't move your foot around, you can't do anything, right? See if you can move your toes, right? I want you to lift all your toes up. Good, put them down. This is good, yeah, zoom in on that, yeah. Do you get pedicures though? No. They look kind of shiny, like you put some gloss on there or something. No. Good, up, down, up, down. All right, so he's got that. Now, just your big toe, just your big toe. Good, big toe up, big toe down. Big toe up, big toe down. Big toe up, big toe down, good. Now, four little toes up. Just your four little toes up. Oh, there we go, yeah. good, good. Four little toes down, rep this out. Oh my four God. little, right, try it, just do your best. Again, right, edge of ability. If it's too painful, stop, but get to that edge. Good, little toes up, little toes down. Now I'm gonna start messing with his brain. All right, you ready? I'm gonna mess with this thing you got. You ready? All right, big toe up, little toes up. Big toe down, little toes down. Little toes up, big toe up. Little toes down. Good, big toe down. Little toes up, little toes down. Big toe up. Big toe down, little toes up, little toes down, little toes up. Sprain a lot of ankles, I used to rub these. Yeah, big toe up, big toe down. All right guys, so what I'm trying to show you, cut right? This no, this is gonna be the best part. <laughs> he wants me to cut that out, I'm, Gabe, you're leaving this whole part in, right? I want Pat to get comfortable with who he is, all right? My Look, foot? Yeah, your foot, put your foot out there. Mine's way worse, you want me to show my foot? Yeah. No, I'm not showing my foot, you're crazy, <laughs> you're crazy. All right, anyway, right, this is where we start. You can see the little assessment process in the beginning. How severe is it? What can you do? And on day one, I just want you to see what you can do. I've had an ankle injury where I completely shut down, where I didn't do anything. I listened to the doctor that told me to do absolutely nothing. Put it in a boot and stay off it. The recovery time was forever. I don't think I ever recovered for it. So I want you to be proactive. The same way you attack your skill development, your strength development. You're on a phone right now, bro, right? The same way you approach all that, that's how you're gonna approach this. Think of the things that you can do. Do not focus on the things you can't do. We just found out that Pat could put, right? Do some circles. We found out he can move his toes. So that's where he starts, right? Other than that, how much handle work can you get in? How much upper body work can you get in? Can you work the other leg? Go do as much as you possibly can do. Do not look at this as a death sentence, right? Your day one is just figuring out what you're capable of. Work on your ankle cars, right? You can pump it, right? Some other things you can do, come up, right? Just pump that ankle, right? Depending on where you're at, if you can start to get into inversion, eversion, do that in and out. If you can, right, walk on it, right? If you wake up tomorrow, the whole thing is, right, starting to assess, right? Take, that, take your Crocs off, both Crocs off, right? Look, I literally am just looking for things around the gym right now, right? We got a little two by four here. You're gonna put the left foot on the two by four. All right, now I just want you to step forward, step back, step forward, step back. Pain? A little bit, not bad. All right, 
So now we already got him putting weight on it. If you guys remember a couple minutes ago, right? He didn't want to put any weight on it. Now he's doing that, right? We're building that confidence. Good. Now, can you stand staggered like this on the two by four? Can you got that? Now put your right foot on the two by four. Good, step forward, step back. All right, now we're getting some balance involved. And I want you to just see this progression, right? We find out where he's at and we slowly, right? Do stuff, right, to challenge where he's at. Good, good, good. All right, we're gonna keep going through this journey. Again, this is day one. Find out where you're at. Use the stuff from this video, right? Start moving it. We want blood flow. We wanna bring information to the injured area, all right? Make sure to like, subscribe. All right, this is kind of wild. To reiterate that this is not a death sentence, right? And to do whatever you can do. I just walked in here and look what Pat's doing, right? He is playing ping pong, right? This is great. This is ankle rehab. This is good ankle rehab. He can't play hoops, right? Look, and he's having fun. He's got a smile on his face. You should, see, you should have seen him when he got here today. He was like depressed. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. An hour later, look at this guy. He's kicking Alex Merrill's butt in ping pong. So, go get to work. That's it.